Okay, uh, I wanted to make a video concerning the installation of a of the KZX 1250 intelligent uh, pulse width modulator. Um, this is my install of that device. Um, I have. Uh, the pulse width modulator uh, attached to uh, this is a stainless steel plate um, uh, it's attached to a bracket that was already in the car and it's mounted on uh, rubber washers um, the device really isn't touching the stainless steel plate uh, it's just um, kind of suspended uh, between um, this screw and the other screw on the other side um, that both have rubber washers in between it. I did that to keep the vibration down. Um, it does have a little bit of flex um, because of that, so it's good. It's very secure and I'm confident that it's not going to move from that position. A uh, little bit particulars about the, the hookup here. The red lead um, from the device uh, is the power. Um, that's the 12 volt, volt terminal. And that terminal goes to the battery. The middle terminal is the black terminal. Uh, it is the ground terminal, and that's grounded to the chassis. Um, that's the terminal ground there. And then the blue lead is the negative um, and that goes directly from the device to the electrolyzer cell the negative on the electrolyzer cell this is a uh, this is my 20 by 20 uh, centimeter uh, electrolyzer um, it's a 16 plate um, four neutral uh, electrolyzer cell um, and it just is working perfectly. Tested it quite a bit, and uh, it works. It works really, really well. Um, <coughs> this uh, pulse width modulator is uh, is intelligent uh, in that it can sense automatically when the car is turned on and. Uh, when you once you turn the car on, it will begin to send power uh, to your to your electrolyzer cell, which is fantastic. That means you don't have to uh, tap into the ignition switch. Uh, you don't have to tap into the circuit board uh, or any uh, or into the fuse box. Um, this just automatically senses when the car is on and sends power uh, to it. If you don't want uh, to have the electrolyzer turned on, this little tab right here can be connected just with, you know, an alligator clip here, and then you alligator clip it to the to the ground, and the uh, device will just turn off. It won't. It won't start on. It won't. It won't turn on. So. Um, that's fantastic. Also, this PWM um, can be set. It can be pre-programmed to your uh, desired amperage level. And once you uh, pre-program that level, uh, it will not exceed that level. Currently, I have the this PWM set at uh, 21 amps, and um, it will maintain 21 amps. And um, it also has a frequency adjustment, and uh, you can adjust the frequency, and you can also adjust the the duty cycle. Um, uh, the duty cycle manipulation um, is handy if you are if you've uh, added you know too much electrolyte, you can turn the duty cycle down, but um, and control um, the amperage that way. Um, but pretty much it will automatically sense um, 
that and compensate for it. So what I want to do now is just show you how this turns on. So I'm going to get in the car. Turn the ignition. Come over to the cell.